YouTube. It's been a minute since I've uploaded, but you guys absolutely loved my last few hair videos. So I'm back doing something with my hair again, and it's going to be super duper fun. Basically, this is just the first step in me going lighter so that I can do something really, really fun next week when I move into my new house. And so today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing some lightening and really just evening up my last dye job because I was just kind of playing around and I'm very prepared today. I have everything laid out in front of me and I had some really good ideas that I'll be sharing with you. So yeah, I am not a professional. I've just been doing my own hair for probably almost 15 years now. I cut it myself, color it myself, do everything myself because honestly, I have only ever had one hairstylist I loved. And when I moved away from her, I had to test out new hairstylists and I never had any experience that I was that I left feeling happy with. So I felt like I was always wasting my time, wasting my money and yeah, I feel like with doing my hair myself, I take full responsibility for whatever the hell happens to my hair and I don't really have anyone else to blame other than myself. Plus, it costs like a quarter of the price. So, with that being said, let's do it! So, the first thing that I'm going to do is use this pre-color treatment and this just helps make sure that everything I'm doing on my hair goes on evenly and comes out evenly and that the porosity of my hair is all even because last time I forgot about this until like halfway through and I was like, hmm, oops, I should do that. So today I'm gonna just go crazy and do that right away. So I don't know how well this shows up on camera, but if you can tell, I have some pretty dark roots going on, which is definitely the look that I was going for when I first did this. And then it gets, I've got a nice little like band right here of yellow, and then I've got a pretty light rest of my hair. Um, the light in here is a bit yellow, so I think that it shows up really yellow on the screen. But if you can see like under here, I have way more of that root going on. So that's what I'm wanting to settle today. That's what I'm wanting to figure out and fix. I'm acting like it really matters for me to be precise right now. It doesn't. <laughs> here, let me look. <laughs> I really, really love the whole like super slick, greasy look. It's really nice. I think it's gonna come into style in 2020. If it does, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like that's actually happened so many times where I said things like that. I'm like, oh, this really lame, ugly thing is gonna become a trend, and then it does, and I'm like, <laughs> oops, did I make that happen? I don't really understand. I don't know if I'm supposed to shake this or not. I just, it's been sitting for a little while. For probably about a month. Yeah, just spray on evenly, comb throughout hair, proceed without rinsing. Also don't know how much I'm supposed to use, so we're just going with it. Oh, I'm so excited. It's been a minute since I dyed my hair. It really hasn't been that long. It's been like, maybe a month. <laughs> but you know, it just feels like so long. I probably should have done this the opposite way, but you know, here we are. It's cool. I just realized it's mostly the root that I need to hit. I'm hopefully, I'm gonna do my best not to even touch the ends here. Now my sleeve is all wet. I think I missed <laughs> a lot. Just try it from the top this time. Oh, my hair's really greasy. Ugh, my fingers feel gross. <laughs> I've actually been meaning to wash my hair for like three days. But I've been too lazy to go to the store to get stuff to do my hair. So, you know, this was my incentive. If I do my hair, I can wash it. I can shower. <laughs> my boyfriend doesn't really like my system, but it works for me. <laughs> Done with that. I might have used too much. <laughs> kind of need to let my hair dry now. Wow, I took 10 minutes to just do that. I can do everything that quick. That'd be awesome. So I'm using 20 volume developer mostly because I'm a little bit scared to use anything stronger because my hair isn't super, super dark. Like my roots are, they're obviously very greasy and very wet now that I've like sprayed them, but they're probably like a light brown, dark blonde. Um, and yeah, I don't want to like fry my hair off. So I'm gonna be using 20 volume developer. I have a big backup here because this is almost empty anyways. And then last time I actually used this bright white cream lightener and I really liked it. It actually worked better than the um, powder ones that I've used. I've used, what is it called? 
lights prism lights i think is what it's called um and it comes in either a like big container or a little individual packet and i usually get the individual packets and i like that one but this i feel like just worked a lot better for me last time and even even after like a month or however long it's been since i really truly toned it i feel like it's still a lot less yellow than it is with the other bleaches that i've used and maybe it was just because i toned it better i don't really know but I like the texture of this and it was more fun to play with anyway. So I'm gonna be using this with the 20 volume developer and I'm also gonna be using a little bit of this guy, which is Ion's Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1. Basically it's like an Olaplex dupe. So I got all of this by the way at Sally's. Here, I'll put this closer if, there we go. Um, I got all of this at Sally's and yeah, Basically, this is just meant to help restore moisture, reduce breakage, and prevent dryness during a chemical service. So, obviously that's what bleaching is, big time. Um, and I used about half of it last time, and I just realized while I was reading the package of this one that I got, because I couldn't remember how much I had left, it says you're supposed to use one bottle, where is it? Oh yeah, mix your color thoroughly, color or lightener thoroughly before adding the booster. Mix half a vial, oh, never mind, maybe I was reading it wrong. Mix half a vial, oh, that's hair color. Ha, I was reading the hair color one last time, apparently. Lightning, mix one vial into two ounces of bleach mixture. Due to the intense conditioning activities, increase the level of developer one full volume for best results. So really now my 20 is even gonna act like 10, which again, I'm all right with. I'd rather just leave it on for longer than um, to fry my hair off. So I'm debating if I should use a full one of these today because last time I only used half. Hmm. <laughs> And obviously I did it wrong because I wasn't using a hair color, I was using lightener. Wow, I didn't, I hardly used any actually. Maybe I'll just finish it. I'm just gonna finish it because it's actually like three quarters of the way full. I thought that I used half of it, but there's a little measuring thing on the side here and you can see that it's actually in between the top two. Oops. So, mix my lightener first. I actually need to go get a spoon. I'm back. Let's do it. I need to look at my directions again. One to one or one to two. And the other fun thing about this is it does say eight levels of lift. So maybe that's why it works so much better is the others don't have eight levels. I don't know. Not a profession. Get my boyfriend's hair out of here, out of my bowl. There's just like fuzzy stuff in it, which probably wouldn't be the greatest thing to mix into my bleach. I typically just kind of mix this to the texture that I like. Um, I want this to be pretty thick because I'm attempting, we'll see how it goes once I actually get in here, but I'm gonna attempt to do a bit of a balayage. That's the technique that I wanna use, it is more of like a balayage, just because I don't want it to be solid blonde. I still wanna have a little bit of root up in there. So I want the texture of this to be pretty thick. So I have about, I think two ounces? Yeah, I have about two ounces of developer in there right now. I'm probably gonna put more. I just don't know how much I'm gonna need for this much hair. Let's do three. I'll do three and three, I think. Six ounces, yeah. I think that's a good place to start. So I did about three ounces of 20 volume developer. And I was just being curious, there's about 10.6 ounces of bleach in here. And uh, just in case you guys haven't seen this, show you up nice and close and it just screws off. So, super easy. I feel like it mixes a lot better than the powders too. Actually, I should show you this. Look at how thick it is. Like, hot damn. So measurement wise, I have no idea how much I put in there, but if you can see it, about that much. 200, oh, I must be past six ounces. Oh no, cool. It's like spot on six ounces. Yeah. So it'll be about half and half, which is exactly what I was going for. So let's see what the texture turns out to be like. Cool. So I'm pretty happy with this texture. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more bleach just so it's a little bit thicker or just keep mixing it a bit. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It's almost cottage cheese-like. And I think I would like it just a little bit thicker. Now I'm gonna go through and mix it with my brush so that I can really get rid of these little chunkies. But since I did like the heavy duty work with the spoon, I shouldn't need to get my bristles a little nasty. So now, see how it'll like actually stick on the brush? That's what I want. 
So now I'm gonna add in the rest of this little Olaplex fake guy. By the way, if you are familiar with Olaplex, I should probably stir this a little bit because it's also been sitting for about a month. Um, if you are familiar with Olaplex and you know about the pricing of it, this entire vial I think is like a dollar or two, so like not bad at all. It's like a, it reminds me of a hair mask or something, like a nice oil, hot oil mask or something that you would do for your hair. I want every last drop. There's lots of bubbles in there. That's probably good. <laughs> so now I'll just mix that in there like I was everything else. My poor brush is still gonna get destroyed. Oh well, a girl can dream, right? Wow, I just realized I was like real focused there. Not even in the camera anymore. Wow, this is beautiful. So I noticed that also made it a lot smoother. It's not, look at that. Look at how well that's holding. That's what I want. Okay, <laughs> exciting moment. So FYI for you guys, because I'm probably, I don't know, I might record everything, but I might not. I realized that I actually had the step two of this Olaplex dupe. And because I forgot that I had it and I forgot to get toner, basically I'm gonna use this to make my own toner. So hopefully my idea works, we'll see. So I'm going to be trying for the first time doing a bit of a balayage style and I saw a girl do it on YouTube because before I do anything with really anything in life, I do a lot of research about it. Um, and I saw a girl, rather than sectioning all of the areas of her hair like most YouTube tutorials do, she just pretty much did it in half like I'm doing right now. And she just did a really long strand all the way to the back rather than doing a back panel because it's hard to see that when you're doing it yourself. So I'm gonna try that out today and we'll see how it goes. I think I'm ready to get started. Just checking, I don't have anything underneath me that is going to make a mess, that I'm gonna make a mess on, really. Yay! So I've got my black gloves, and I hope my nails don't destroy it because they're really long. I also got this fun little guy that I'm gonna use for hair dye from now on. Just a little, like, plasticky brush, but I just figured that would be a great way to kind of, like, blend through some of the color. So I don't know. We'll see if I use that today or not. Wow, 20 minutes just getting ready. Here we go! I'm so excited right now, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! another time because as I said before I didn't have toner so I just made up my own and it definitely came out a bit purple which I'm cool with but I can't really tell how well I did with blonding but I think it did a pretty good job I've actually completely moved since my last video and I didn't end up getting to record what this turned out like. So here I am showing you how it turned out and honestly, not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud. It's of course not perfect, especially right here. Very, I would say like patchy kind of, but depending on how I part it, let's try moving it over a little bit hill. Hold on. Ugh. So I'm not someone who parts my hair the exact same every day. It's actually different every single day. Sometimes I part in the middle, sometimes on the right side, sometimes on the left. And also sometimes it's like different degrees of how far I uh, part it. So yeah, just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of a difference in here. Oh, I will say <laughs> I didn't do a good job on the back. So kind of just like looking through here, you can see that some pieces are like 
kind of balayage, not balayage, whatever. Some pieces are kind of messy, some pieces are like extremely messy. <laughs> eh, go down. Yeah, um, but on the back, I don't even know if I'll be able to get this to show up on camera, but basically when I looked at it in the mirror after I had dried it, let's see if it'll show up in this mirror. <laughs> yeah, not really. Okay, so I'm gonna try turning around. But basically what I can see in the mirror is that, so up here, you know, I went pretty close to the root, like I didn't give it much space, but on the back, there's like four inches of space. And I'm like, how did that happen? And it's like all of the back. Like I have no idea how I did that. So we'll see if I can show you. Okay, well, so it doesn't really look like you can see it. Let's try like parting it in here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> There's a nice big gap. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm referencing, but. I am back on this video today because I'm actually dyeing it again, very different. And so I needed to get a little before picture, before video, so that I can have something to show what the after looks like. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it has been fun. I hope it's been fun for you to watch. And check out the next video because that one's gonna be even more fun and I am so excited to record it.